Hello, and welcome back to the Adrian Bauer Project. Many, many thanks for choosing to click on my thumbnail and to watch my content. Very much appreciated as always. Okay, so if you remember a few videos back, uh, I mentioned that uh, now that the old pandemic seems to be uh, winding down and we may very, very well be getting back to normal pretty soon, that uh, Claire and myself are going to be having games nights at uh, Shez Bauer and uh, we'll have uh, friends round, a few beers, get a few board games out and have a laugh. Um, now of course we've already had a look at Jaws the board game, uh, we've already had a look at uh, the Warhammer Beastgrave board games, but I thought you know we could do with something that requires less thought to go into it, a bit more it's all down to the chance of the roll of the dice so that's why we're having a look at these two games today and the first one up as we've just seen from the thumbnail is uh, a game that I absolutely loved when I was uh, uh, about eight nine years old if not younger uh, it's been reissued many times before but it's just been reissued over uh, in the United States and that is as you can see Ghost Castle it was sent over to us kindly by our family in America, Kim and Bill, who I can't thank enough. Oh, and by the way, they will be running for presidency in the next elections over in the US. So get your vote in now. So as you can see, still in the uh, cellophane wrapper. So I'm going to go away, take the wrapper off. Let's have a look at the contents of what you get inside the box. Right, so we've got the plastic wrapping off, and here we go. So, we've got the uh, lovely box art on the front. Uh, it says Ghost Castle on the side, all the way around the side. Um, we've got some pictures on the back of the gameplay and the write up. So, let's read the write up. It says Ghost Castle, the story begins. You are paranormal investigators hired to find out if the legend of the haunted Ghost Castle is true and to record anything strange going on inside. Trouble is, it's all true. Having made your way upstairs, you've accidentally woken the mean-spirited ghost of Count Spooks a lot from a decade-long sleep, and he is determined to get revenge by trapping you in his castle forever. Not all of you will escape, so you must race each other down the stairs and through the dangerful rooms to get out of the castle as quickly as possible don't get left behind. So there we go, that's the right up on the back. Let's have a look at the contents inside. Now the thing to remember about this game, if you do manage to be able to get your hands on a copy of this, is the box is the board. You've got to remember that. Um, so under the front flap there you've got a little a little flap you need to just just push down and open up top loading box like that um, there's the little flap that means the box will shut properly when you're not using it so here we go this is what you'll see when you uh, open the box so you've got the instruction manual there this is telling you all about first time assembly and then setting up the game thereafter and it even shows you how to put the game back in the box. So how many times have we took anything out of the box, not just games, tools, uh, anything that comes in the box, Christmas tree lights, they're the worst. Once you've took them out of the box, you can't get them back in, but that actually shows you how to get it all back in. And also on this, we have got 
the rolls. So to put them to one side there, where you can see everything has come in bags. Uh, we've got stairs there. Um, we've got the games pieces and we've got the boards there. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and uh, cut into the bags so we can see what the pieces look like. I am not going to set it up today. Uh, I'm going to wait until we're actually going to play a game and then I can record the setting up of it and the gameplay. Today is just to show you what's in the box and to give you an overall all thought, uh, my overall thoughts on the game. So, um, not going to be te take me too long for you, it's just going to be a split second. Okay, so first of all, just look at the board game. The board game, the, the board that we're playing, as I can say, it's all printed inside because this is actually your game board. I think that's a great idea. It's a fantastic idea that. Uh, just to let you know as well, it's a game for two to six players and from six uh, years and upwards. Um, I think if you're playing with anyone um, around under 10 mark, I think they are going to need help with this game. That uh, other than that, should be a very enjoyable family game. So that's the board inside. Some awesome uh, artwork on there. It's all the part uh, spaces where you you move your, your figures along. Okay, so what I did notice in here, I was hoping that everything came in resealable bags. Um, the plastic parts didn't come in resealable bags. I've had to cut into those, but the cardboard parts do. Um, just a word about the cardboard. Yeah, it, it is fairly, str it's fairly strong card, but you are going to have to be careful with it. Don't be over heavy handed with it because uh, I don't think it'd be too long um, before you, you'd be damaging it if you're going in heavy handed. So uh, just have a look some of the, the plastic parts here they do seem to be uh, pretty sturdy I think these will be going together for the chimney obviously so say so that will be uh, that'll be your chimney looks uh, thick really thick grey plastic thicker than what uh, model kit plastic is this is going to be uh, it's going to get some some use some hammer there's a little ghost that you get to drop uh, the ball bearing down the chimney <laughs> um, it's got a little spring release mechanism mechanism on that and i think that actually glows in the dark so put that back these pieces can go back in there like that, i would have liked receivable bags but uh, can't have everything. Uh, those two pieces there, these are, I think they're for your trap, trap doors or squeaky floorboards, whatever. It's all made of the same plastic. Again, we've got uh, some other plastic parts here, the axe and everything. Got, um, oh, I think these little bases I think they're for your figures um, you get a dice all your numbers on and other little bits and pieces that you add on to your game it all looks uh, very sturdily made get your ball bearing that you drop down the chimney from same similar to the one that I used to have that's what you'll be doing uh, I say it's, it's it's good strong plastic it's made from it's not flimsy so it shouldn't be uh, to be reducing the risk of breakages as well uh, there's your stairs that you come with again that's it's a good strong plastic very well made for that okay so in this first bag this is a receivable bag uh, Got some artwork. I'm sh I think this is um, the trapdoor kind of thing, you know, in the wall. Um, these are 
the figures you can choose to play. I'm shaking there. So there we go. There's four figures there. Four more figures there. So you can all choose uh, which character you want to play. Um, there's your wobbly floorboard, as I can remember. For those of you that remember this game before, I think these are wall dividers. So I say the, the card for these, um, it, it's, it is a stiff card, but I would suggest you, you go very, very carefully with them because I think they're going to be very easily creased. And um, as you know, with cardboard of this type, once it's creased, you can't get the crease out of it. So I'll try and put that. I'll put that back in when I finish filming because that's just going to be a nightmare. Um, in this other bag, you're getting more parts, and there's actually some really, really cool diagrams on these. So there we go. That is the wall section. Should imagine this will be going in the house somewhere. So, like I say, I'll be setting it up on the next video when we're actually playing a game. I'm not going to set it up now. I'm just showing you what you get in the box for this one. So, it's like an open box review. So, that's the kind there. I say be careful with these pieces of card because I think they would be easily easily broken and there we go some really really cool artwork on these on these games there we go fantastic so here are all the pieces that you get in the box uh, it makes the box it makes the game up so the instruction manual seems fairly easy to follow. I don't think it's going to be any any problem there. And here we go. We've got the rules and how to play. And uh, so we've already read you the story on the back. That's already. Uh, repeated there and then the object of the game be the first player to get your paranormal investigator team out of the haunted castle so uh, just having a quick skim through these rules they look pretty easy I don't think there's going to be any difficulty there and I think you're going to have uh, if you're playing this with the family uh, you're going to have lots and lots of fun with that uh, if you're playing it as a games night with your mates and there's booze involved, then uh, <laughs> who knows how that's going to end. So this retails around, I think it's the $19.99. So over here in the UK, that's going to be it's $20. So it's going to be about £17 over here. Uh, just by going what you've got in in the box there's there's quite a bit in the box uh the box itself makes up the game board which i think is a great idea so it's all self-contained i love that putting the game away back in the box <laughs> that is awesome that, that is that is some great forward thinking that i really like that bit that got to extra tick for me that one and just like i say those of you who've had the game in the past uh, will know uh, more or less how this game works. So there we go. That's what you get inside the box. Um, I think that I've just had it from Claire that uh, it's got that new book smell to it when you open up. So just by going by looking at the contents of this game, I think it looks a good game reasonably priced yeah i think pricing probably is about right for for what it is nowadays um that's what it looks like when it's set up so hopefully uh, when we come to play a game uh, we'll have it all set up there 
but uh, my first impression yeah I think it looks a great game I'm gonna have lots of fun with this um, I say you, got, you are gonna have to be careful with the cardboard parts because I, I don't think it'll be too long before you damage those so care would have to be taken there but other than that I think it looks a great game so I'm going to give uh, Ghost Castle by Buffalo Games I'm going to give it four Evil Edna's Okay, so, like I say, these are all for games nights, and once you've had one or two sherbets, um, games that are a little bit more complicated uh, are going to be uh, out of the window and forgotten about. You want something really easy, something that you can have a laugh with, and Snakes and Ladders is just the kind of game that you're going to need. Let's have a look inside the contents of this box. You may have seen it before and thought for about five, six pounds just for snakes and ladders. Is that a bit pricey? Well, we're going to find out right now. Right, so here we go. Snakes and ladders by MY Traditional Games or is it my traditional games? I don't know. Um, it wasn't played this when they were younger growing up now you may have looked at this um on amazon this is where i got it from it's around five six pounds mark and probably thought like i did is it a bit steep price wise uh, but uh, i read some of the comments on there and i thought no i'll buy this version so let's have a look what we've got inside shall we so there we go the box on there just seem to be a bit more sturdier than the ghost castle box so inside you've got snakes and ladders and how to play so let's have a look you've got the board you've got your pieces and you've got a shaker for your dice so it seems to be uh, a lot of wasted card in there i don't know it's just how you may feel about it so let's have a look at the board yeah the board is a little on the thin side but i have seen a lot worse um it is pretty sturdy but it's just just a little bit thin so there we go that's the gameplay on there it's all your snakes and your ladders squares are one to 100 object of the game is it the first one to finish on 100 inside um you do get um, little, uh, they like pawns off a chest set actually I'd say that they really look like pawns off a chest set and you get your dice that's your shaker your dice if you're going to use it um, now I have seen cheaper versions of this there was one on Amazon for about four pounds but you didn't get these all you got with these horrible little plastic discs I wonder if you even called them tiddlywinks you you wouldn't have been able to play tiddlywinks with them and they were awful and I think the board on it looked really flimsy as well because the picture they had taken the board was actually bowed so there we go so five six pounds probably is a little on the expensive side but it is what it is now, like I said, this is for uh, mine and Claire's game nights with our friends. Now, you can just do um, the vanilla version where you have the grandkids around and you just play snakes and ladders as normal. But uh, with it being game night, alcohol will be involved. So <laughs> if you do the alcohol version of it, um, where if you come down a snake, could have a shot of whiskey, vodka, whatever it is. Um, if you go up a ladder, your opponents have got to have it. And let's see uh, who gets bladdered first. <laughs> is anybody going to pass out before you actually play, finish playing the game? 
it's just a, a fun way of having an adult version of Snakes and Ladders. Um, if you're that way inclined, you could do it uh, an even more adult way. Uh, whereas uh, if you land on a snake, an item of clothing is removed. And if you get on the ladder, you can put the item of clothing back on. Are you and your friends at clothes? <laughs> I, don't think I don't think we are. But uh, if we're going to play that version of the game, I think I'd be wearing about 17 t-shirts, five jumpers and six pairs of trousers. So uh, it takes your money. You it pays you money, it takes your choice, don't you? Uh, like I say, I'm looking at that. Uh, so, like I say, it is what it is. For five or six pounds, yeah, it is a little, a little pricey, I think. But uh, it's a simple game. And for your, for your games now, uh, after you've had a few, you don't want to be sitting there trying to plot out strategies and trying to think about your next move and this, that and the other, which would be involved with your sort of Warhammer games and the Aliens games and those kind of games you've got to really think about. This is just going to be a laugh out loud, laugh a minute game. Uh, we've got absolutely no thought into it at all. It's all down on the roll of the dice. So it's going to be a laugh. It's going to be fun. Um, if you can't get enjoyment out of a simple game like this, uh, you need <laughs> you need to have a word with yourself. I think. Um, I think in a way, looking forward to playing this more than any others. But uh, like I say, that's going to be an, a, a, a video for another day. <laughs> so there we go. So Snakes and Ladders by My Games. It is what it is. Probably a little overpriced, so I'm going to give it three and a half evil Edna's. And that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that one. Please remember, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to my channel, it'd be very much appreciated. And also, don't forget to ring that little notification bell.